Hi, so in this video, you're gonna see an off-the-track thoroughbred, Tommy. Tommy is a 16-year-old off-the-track thoroughbred. He has been off the track for quite a few years. Um, he um, has been through a retraining process, but it wasn't a correct retraining process. Uh, so what I wanted to show you in this training series is this is part one, and what is the first step we do with our off the track thoroughbred when retraining what is the first thing that we teach them so the first thing that we teach in off the track thoroughbred is how to give to pressure so in racing uh thoroughbred race horses habituate to a lot of pressure they habituate to a lot of bit pressure um they that's how they actually work in racing uh they they use their body in a completely different way they lean into the bit uh, when they're galloping, they use their body where they're actually leaning into the bit and um, sort of dragging themselves along by their front end and pushing up from their hind end. So they've habituated to a massive amount of uh, bit pressure. Uh, they also uh, use uh, leaning into the bit as a form of balance. So they actually use this to help balance themselves. So when we get our off the track thoroughbred, uh, we not only need to teach them to give to pressure because if anything in racing, they, um, they, they lean into pressure and they use it as a form of, of balance support to, to balance their body. So the first thing we do is teach them to give to pressure. Uh, now, this is going to take quite a while. Uh, not only do we need to teach them this and it's a new learning behavior, but they need to learn how to use their body in a completely different way. So this is this is basically part of an off the track thoroughbred retraining process. So where do we start? So in this video, you see where I start with my retraining process. Uh, we start with once I, once again, I said um, teach them to give to pressure and we teach them this in the stop and go in hand in a head collar and lead rope so the first two um, things you want to teach your off the track thoroughbred is how to stop with a light response in hand in a head collar and how to move forward give to pressure from the lead rope in hand uh, so you'll see this with tommy that in this video he doesn't want to stop so he's sort of moving around um, not wanting to stand still so this is giving me um, an indication that he is not very clear in his stop response. He's not um, trained to what we call light responses. Uh, so stopping on a light lead rein pressure um, and staying there until I ask him to move forward. You'll also notice that he's quite heavy in his um, go forward response. So when retraining your off the track thoroughbred, one, you want to teach them to give to pressure because they have habituated to a lot of pressure, particularly bit pressure. Um, they use it, um, they lean into it instead of give to pressure in racing. And they also use the bit pressure and leaning into the bridle as a form of um, helping themselves balance in their body. So you can see they need to, um, when retraining, we need to teach them to use their body in a different way um, and also teaching them new learning um, habits, new learning learning behaviors. So once again, this is it doesn't happen in one or two sessions. This is quite a long process when retraining an off the track thoroughbred. So this is part one in a the series of we'll look at retraining Tommy um, and just watch how he progresses along. So enjoy this video. If you have any questions, please pop them in the comments below. I'm more than happy to answer them. Um, I just wanted to go through my recapping again. We're teaching them to give to pressure. That's your first ever thing you teach your off the track thoroughbred. Um, and we teach them to give to pressure in their stop response, which is up in hand, in a head collar and lead rope, and their go response. So you will find, as you see Tommy in this video, that he doesn't want to stand still, which means that he's not very clear and light in his stop response. Our goal is for him to stop very lightly and to stand until I ask him to move forward. And in his go response, when I ask him to move forward with the lead rope, you'll see that he's quite heavy as well. Uh, once again, we want him to be moving forward and stopping um, like with almost invisible aids. You're not seeing me asking him to move forward. So that is your goal when retraining your off the track thoroughbred. I hope um, you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know in the comments below and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Okay. 
So the first thing I do is check their basic responses of stop and go or acceleration and deceleration. So you can see here already, I might just come out here a little bit. Okay, just so you can see me. But the, tom, tom. Okay, so you can see how he's already pushy. Hey, see how he's pushy? Um, he wants to eat the grass. So I note that and he's pouring. Okay, so keep in a safe space. So this is a perfect example of a horse that is not light to the responses. Um, he's pushing me. He doesn't want to stand still. He's pouring. So this is what I'm checking today. I'm seeing where he's at in his um, training. And we always start first with stop and go. So I can see that he's not um, trained to nice and light responses in his stop because he doesn't want to stand still. So when he stands still, so our aim is for him to stand there until I ask him to move, but we are quite away from that. Hey? Okay, so I know. And see how he's getting a little bit agitated? He wants to um, bite me and lick me. I know, he's having a yawn. Um, so I, want, I just wanted to check, okay, so he's walking forward. I'm just going to take him a step back. Uh, so I haven't had, I haven't actually checked. See how he's wanting to bite me? This is just showing a little bit of confusion, a little bit of anxiety. Um, he's chewing the lead. Uh, hey, and I know his, even though he's a nice quiet horse, he's, he's a sensitive horse and he's a little bit of a worry wart. Um, he's, he's a big horse, he's 17 hands. He's yawning. Um, yawning and that is a, is a sign of them being just a little bit stressed uh, or they usually they'll yawn after they've gone through a little bit of a stressful situation. It's just showing me that he's, you know, just trying to work things out, he's thinking. So he's actually standing a little bit more relaxed here now, good boy. So the first things I do, I check their stop and a go, their go. Okay, so we've already had a look at his stop because he didn't want to stand still and he's wanting to walk now. Okay, so I'm just going to ask him to stand there. So we know that he doesn't stop nice and lightly and he doesn't, sta he doesn't stay still um, unless I, I, uh, until I ask him to go forward. He wants to keep moving his legs and he's moving again and I'll just ask him to step back. So basically what I'm doing here is testing and he's yawning <laughs> again. It's testing how he is. I'm, I'm just finding out where he's at in his um, basic responses um, and this is what I do with every single horse, every single off the track thoroughbred that I take on, um, clients, horses and also my own. Okay, so he's standing there nice and good, good boy. Okay, so I'll give him a scratch, i reward him, okay, good boy. Yeah, good boy. Okay, just be big. I know that he'll, he will, um, he has the tendency to flick his front leg out, good boy. Okay, very good with that, so before, okay. Yeah, so see how he's getting a little bit um, anxious? That's okay. Let me just stand. No, I don't want you to eat grass. Good boy. Hey? Good boy. Yeah, good boy. You're a good boy. Good boy. Okay. So we know that he's um, not, um, not good in his stop because he was walking around. He's improved a little bit there even though we're standing a little bit crooked. Good boy. Good boy. So I'll reward him for standing still. Okay, so now that he's standing still, I'm going to check his go response. So what I do is I stand in front of him and actually what's a good idea is to stand to the side a little bit, particularly with horses like Tommy in case they pour out. So I stand at the side, I hold my lead rope about 15 centimetres down from the clip and he's walked forward, I don't want him to walk forward. And what I'm going to do is see if he moves forward off light um, lead pressure. Okay, so I have my, he wants to bite, no, no, no. Okay, so he wants to, <laughs> Tom, this is once again a little bit of a, a stress thing. So I just, I don't punish him for it. I just move my hand out of the way. Okay, good boy. I'll uh, pat him when he doesn't do it, good boy. Okay, so I'm gonna ask him to step forward with my, if he stops nibbling me, trying to nibble me, with light lead pressure. So what I do is I just wait, I bring my lead rope um, forward towards me, light pressure. So he's actually stepped forward nice and lightly, which is great. So I'm just going to keep walking him forward. Beautiful. Camera. Okay. Beautiful. So, and we're going to stop him. Good boy. 
okay we'll do that again i'll just check our camera let's come over here tom and just just check our camera here it's a little bit of a rascal this camera uh, don't knock the camera i see how he's getting <laughs> right up the camera he's heavy to stop so i've already noticed with tommy that he's quite heavy to stop um let's just move out here so you can see me uh with the camera Spot. so that's a nice stand there good boy i reward him poppy my doggy's barking okay so let's just check his uh, his acceleration his go forward so i'm going to ask with some light lead pressure light heavier heavier and that was heavy so you notice there that i started off with light lead pressure and i'm going to stop him so he stopped nice and light i started off with light lead pressure he didn't respond so i just needed to use a little bit firmer lead pressure as soon as he responded um, and moved his legs forward i released so let's do that again so uh, we're heading forward so we might actually turn around here we'll turn around this way roller go away there's dogs everywhere here guys good boy i'm going to take a step back and see good boy so we Let's check his arm um, go forward. I guess so he's actually going to step back. Okay, so I ask him to, so I want him to stand. So we know that he's actually, he's not very good in his stop response. Good boy. Just ask him to stand. Let him relax there. Good boy. Okay, yeah. Good boy. Okay. Now we're going to ask him to walk forward and see if he responds by light lead pressure. Light, heavier, heavier, good and release. And we stop. Good. And now, see how he's not good and he stop. He wants to keep walking, so I'm going to take him a step back. So he's nice and light stepping back. And we're going to, I don't move my legs. I want him to respond to my lead pressure. Okay, without moving my legs to start with. Light, heavy, heavy. See how he was heavy coming forward off the lead rope? So that means that he's not very light to his, his forward response. Good boy. We want to get him to respond to a very light um, lead pressure response. So we're just going to turn here again and we'll practice that just one more time. And also to the fact that he wants to nibble. Hmm. Okay, let's just walk forward light. That's the boy. Okay, good boy. So let's just practice our forward response. See how he responds to the light lead pressure. And just the fact that he wants to nibble my hand is a sign that he's not very clear in his training responses. He's not very clear understanding his training. So light, heavy, heavy. See how he was heavy to respond to the lead pressure? So my aim is to have him respond lightly. So he responded nice and lightly to his stop there. Let's just do it one more time. He's yawning, okay, so this is processing a little bit of what he's learning. Let's have another go, see if he responds to the light one. I'll just, so light, heavy, heavier, and release. Good boy, okay. Now I do this standing in front of them. Rollo, go away, the dog wants to chase us and stop so he was a bit see how when i asked him to stop he kept walking forward so that's just a sign that he's a bit heavy in his stop and go responses which is he doesn't stop as soon as i apply a light lead rein pressure so let's have another go so i'm going to stand forward i use hold the lead rein about 15 centimeters underneath the clip and i use light and he's not responding heavier heavier and forward so i need to needed to use a little bit of extra pressure there see how he's crooked as well and we're going to stop good boy good hey let's just go again we're on a bit of an angle here so i do light heavier heavier and release see how he's heavy to uh, um to his lead rein pressure we'll just keep walking here he's a bit crooked when i'm leading him the first three things that we teach our off the track thoroughbred is teaching them to go forward on a light uh, lead rein response, teaching them to stop on a light lead rein response and teaching them to lower their head on a light lead rein response. So give you the example again of the light forward response. So we hold the lead rein about 15 centimetres underneath the clip. I keep my legs still. I don't want him to follow my legs. Light good so he responded to a nice light lead rein pressure there and backwards towards his chest to stop beautiful good boy 
have a little itchy. Okay, so we're just going to turn around and we'll do that. Good boy. So the aim of um, training, of retraining, is to get them to respond to light pressure in hand and under saddle. Off the track, uh, thoroughbred racehorses have habituated to a lot of pressure, a lot of bit pressure in particular. They've learnt to lean into pressure, to lean into you, and um, they really run on a lot of adrenaline. So we want to get them to uh, learn to carry themselves um, without leaning and to, which is called self-carriage. Okay, so where it starts is this in-hand work here and it starts with your stop and you go in hand. So let's just do another one of stop and go. So I want him to come forward off light lead rein pressure. He's standing very wonky here. So let's just straighten him up a little bit. Stand up, good boy. Okay, so I stand in front of him. I'll stand off a bit to the side so I don't get um, uh, run over or um, kicked. He's having a yawn. Okay, so holding the lead rein about 15 centimetres underneath the buckle, I bring it towards his chin, forward towards my hand, light, heavy, heavier, heavier, release as soon as he steps. So you can see how it took a little bit of um, a light response, he didn't respond, a heavier response and he didn't respond and I had to ask with a little bit of firmer pressure before he responded. So our aim is for him to respond to the light lead rein pressure. So let's have another go here. So I bring it, I have it down in neutral position, bring it forward, light, heavier, heavier, heavier and release. So see how he's quite heavy going forward at the moment. So this is checking his stop, his go response, I should say. 